drug epidemic in San Francisco requires a multifaceted approach that encompasses prevention, treatment, harm reduction, and community support. Here are some of the solutions to combat the drug epidemic in San Francisco. Expansion of treatment services Increase the availability and accessibility of substance abuse treatment programs, including detoxification centers, outpatient clinics, and residential treatment facilities. This includes providing a range of evidence-based treatments, such as medication-assisted treatment, counseling, and support groups. Harm reduction strategies implement harm, harm reduction strategies. Implement harm reduction initiatives like needle exchange programs, safe injunction sites, and overdose prevention education. These sad strategies, these strategies aim to reduce the harm associated with drug use, such as the spread of infectious diseases and overdose deaths, while also providing opportunities for individuals to connect with healthcare and support services. Mental health support. Address the underlying mental health issues that often co-occur with substance abuse. Increased funding for mental health services includes counseling, therapy, and psychiatric care to ensure that individuals struggling with addiction have access to comprehensive treatment. Collaboration with community organizations. Partner with community-based organizations, nonprofits, and healthcare providers to expand drug treatment and prevention programs. These organizations often have deep community roots and can provide vital support outreach and resources to individuals struggling with addiction. Education and prevention programs. Develop and implement evidence-based drug education and prevention programs in schools and community centers. These programs should focus on raising awareness about the risks and consequences of drug use, promoting healthy coping mechanisms, and teaching life skills to resist peer pressure. Law enforcement and diversion programs. Law enforcement and diversion programs. Collaborate with law enforcement agencies to implement diversion programs that aim to steer nonviolent drug offenders towards treatment and rehabilitation instead of incarceration. This approach helps reduce the burden on the criminal justice system and provides individuals with an opportunity to address the root causes of their addiction. Supportive housing and employment assistance. Provide stable housing options and job training programs to individuals in recovery state. Stable housing and employment can significantly contribute to successful recovery outcomes and reduce the likelihood of relapse. Targeted outreach and engagement. Conduct targeted outreach and efforts to reach individuals who are homeless or living in marginalized communities are, as they may be at a higher risk of drug addiction. Engage with these populations Provide access to healthcare services and connect them with support networks. Collaboration with neighborhood jurisdictions. Coordinate efforts with neighborhood jurisdictions to address the regional nature of the drug epidemic. Sharing resources, data, and best practices can help create a more effective, cohesive response to the issue. Long term support and aftercare. Establish comprehensive aftercare programs to support individuals in their transition from treatment to independent living. Provide ongoing counseling, peer support, and access to resources to help individuals maintain their recovery and prevent relapse.